All right, this is the fourth workshop of five. Um, second class of me uh, filling in for Benji um, this weekend here at DCSX. Uh, joining me is Jacqueline, all right? Um, so this one, it was a, uh, during the Jack and Jill, so we had a little bit more intimate class. So I allowed my class to kind of um, interrogate me, ask me about my personal, no, I'm just kidding. Um, they actually uh, asked questions about their dance so that they can improve. Um, and so one of the questions was about creativity, actually came from this uh, young little uh, gentleman, which actually ended up eating up the whole class, which was great, um, because there were a lot of cool things that we did from it. But essentially, um, what I did was a spin-off of my um, popular class called Fill in the Blanks, uh, where it focuses on constants versus variables. So the move that we uh, did, um, starting from the followers movement, was essentially this. It was a, kind of a prep movement into a change with a single turn. Um, so all that really is, the label for that is just what? A reverse whip with an outside turn. Um, but I didn't give that, I gave that just as a movement for the followers to do. And then the leaders to figure out the many ways that they can change variables, but still get the same movement for, for the, out of the follower. So really just played with this one pattern. So what, some of the things that we focused on, this would be the normal. So a reverse whip with the prep with a single outside turn, okay? So the goal now is to change as many variables. Um, uh, without changing her dynamic. We want to keep that the same. So we, let's say, did a right and a left, right, left over right, and stayed in open position, okay, and got the same product, talked about uh, taking that same movement, and then maybe changing hands and letting go of the other. Uh, whether she change, stays here or opens up isn't the point. It's more of in the middle of the pattern that we focused on. Uh, but then I, re I made them realize like things like body positioning. So this is why we don't want to label it. It's because I can do this action and realize that that essentially is the same movement of the reversal of the outside turn. But now I'm not worrying about making it a whip as much as I am kind of staying behind her doing kind of almost like a hustle movement action and then outside turn, but she's still traveling, she's still moving the same. Uh, it's just now instead of transferring and switching sides with her, I'm actually just staying on this side of her, okay? So it's up to you guys to kind of play with that, um, play with that pattern, see what other patterns you can do, um, but if you kind of embody and kind of uh, feel what the followers meant to do, um, then you'll start to improve your lead and know how to change it up. For followers, um, if you kind of do this, it's actually more for you in the way that if you understand what your body's supposed to do and uh, put that first, um, then things like the leader changing their hand, because leaders change, uh, lead all lead differently. If you realize what's the constant, what your slot is doing, what your movement in the slot is doing, um, then it actually gives you the freedom and comfort to be able to style, um, to be able to play, without disrupting the lead, if anything, only enhance and add to the conversation. All right, so that was a great advanced class, uh, our fourth class on Saturday, and uh, I'll see you guys next year.